Good day, guys. Good day. What's going on? So I just want to warn the people that um, there are some gospel songs that God, I'm talking about old gospel songs, new gospel songs, that God does not want you to sing to him. Um, one being that I found out earlier today was uh, God is my all and all. God is Many of y'all might know that song God is God doesn't like that song um, He doesn't want that song ministered to him um, I'm not sure why But God knows the artist He knows the artist's heart He knows, you know what I'm saying If that song is a lie If that song is just for, you know what I'm saying A check, you know God knows all these things And so um, he doesn't want us singing that song He doesn't want us singing A Sinner's Prayer by Dietrich Hatton Um it's, it's, it's a lot of songs, and I will continue to expose them as uh, God um, reveals them to me. But this is the one that he wanted me to um, point out for now. All right, so a lot of gospel songs that you listen to, you know, pray and ask God about it. Because some of the songs God does not approve of because of the uh, artists. I already called out Ty Trivet, um, that only one night, yo, we been made do it for a night. Only one night, though. He doesn't He doesn't like that song. Okay, a lot of um, the songs are not worship songs. Um, they're not heartfelt, you know, heart-centered songs coming directly from the Holy Spirit. It's not. Um, so God doesn't want you to listen to these types of songs. Um, you may want to just kind of write your own song, write your own music to God. Sing to me a new song is what the Lord says. Um, and, and let that be sufficient. Let your praise, your personal praise and adoration to God be enough. Until next time, guys, be blessed.